So this is our refrigerator in this boat. This is the ice box. It's actually pretty nice. It's got these, you know, nice wooden uh, lids that come off like this. And the refrigeration unit is right down here in this, this cabinet, a brand new refrigeration unit. Uh, it's also a keel cooled unit. So it's got a plate on the outside that runs refrigerant over to the plate to, to exchange heat, that kind of thing. And the whole system is from a company called Coastal Climate Control. And it's actually two stages too. It's got a fridge and a refrigerator section. However, it is disgusting in there. I mean, holy moly. Look, all that junk back there you see, that's mold. Yeah, there's even some disgusting dried mummified maggots down there in the bottom. So yeah, let me tell you, this is just, it's just nasty, nasty. So that's what I'm up to, cleaning out this disgusting fridge. So progress is most certainly being made as evidence that I am now bleeding, which, you know, that's always a reassuring sign that big things are happening. All right, so I've got most of the stuff out of the way. Now this segment here, which I believe is called the cooling plate, I'm not gonna be able to move that all that much because that has a copper tube, you know, that is running, basically connecting right here um, and then going through that hole down there. So I'm basically gonna have to work around what is left in here uh, with, you know, some brushes and things like that, being very careful to not damage this sex, this stuff here. Um, yeah, so basically from here, the plan is to, you know, basically get some cleaner and some water in here, start uh, loosening everything up with brushes and such as that, and then use the shop vac to suck out all of the nastiness and pretty much just repeating that process until it's clean. Yep. Now, I did try to talk Molly into just getting inside this fridge and, uh, you know, using her little arms and hands to get in there and clean behind all these hard to reach places, but I, she didn't seem so enthused for some reason. So uh, she went off to walk down the dock and check out some boats. So it's just me here right now. She left me alone to deal with this nasty refrigerator. I mean, that kid, kids nowadays, my goodness. I'm just kidding. is pretty much clean got a few more little simple things to do got to put this trim piece back up under the underside here uh, but that's not that big of a deal uh, i do have to clean up this shelf which molly has happily excitedly and positively volunteered to help me with right yes all right all right come on girl come on girl you, you know what song that is? No. Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> okay, Molly, here's the spritzy thing. Can you catch it? Here goes. Oh, good catch. All right, now here's the nasty, disgusting, moldy board. Uh, be careful with that. It's fragile. Will you connect the hose? Oh, yeah. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> 
You mean you want to use the hose and you want to have water? All right, there you go. Are you familiar with the spray, scrub, rinse, spray, scrub, rinse, spray, scrub, rinse technique? I think so. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, thanks. Great job, Molly! <laughs> Whoa. Dang. Sorry, boat. <laughs> Alright, keep it under control. <laughs> I love water. I know. Boats aren't made to get wet. Are you crazy? <laughs> Alright, Molly, all finished? Yeah. Great job. Thank you for your help. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. And now we'll go reinstall it in the refresh. Re the back. <sighs> oh. You're not done? <sighs> All right, all finished? Yeah. Great job, Molly. Thank you for your help. Just gonna take this right back up there. How's it look? It's got to be a load better than it did before I started. I mean, it is practically mold free. I'm sure I've missed some tiny spots, but man, I've tried to be as thorough as I possibly could. Now, one thing that's cool about this fridge is that I think it's actually this fan that actually makes the magic happen because it is, it has a cooling uh, freezer section over here and a frig section over here. Both sections have one of these sensors, but there's only one compressor unit. So it's only, it's only got one source of cold and that is, you know, this cold plate and the, you know, the compressor that's in the cabinet over there. But this fan, I believe, based on the feedback from the two sensors, you know, moves air around and kind of, you know, dumps air from the freezer section into the fridge section. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty cool system. It's supposed to be really reliable. Uh, I mean, our preference, you know, up to this point has been just to have a, an Engel refrigerator, one of those Engel, you know, portable fridges. And we really like those. Um, if this doesn't work out, we will likely replace it with an Engel, but hopefully we'll get a lot of service out of this one. Yeah. All right, cool. One more project off the list. Whew. I was going to go off that edge right there to catch it. Okay. We're going to have to just don't sweep it into that hole there. Yeah. By the way, all of this stuff is where I started taking the plastic stuff that's all cracked and dried out started taking it off the lifelines I did the same thing on sand flea it just cleaned it up quite a bit we might have eventually do some you know dyneema life lifelines or something like that but to me this is better than this all right come here Molly let's wrap up this video I yeah uh, maybe this is a good spot yeah. what? <laughs> if I don't fall off <laughs> all right ah! we Sorry. All right, just let me know when you're situated. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. So we're finished. We're heading back home tomorrow. Uh, today has been just, you know, doing little odd job kind of things. It's none of the mission critical things that need to happen before we can go cruising. Well, maybe except for that refrigerator. That that definitely needed to happen. Yeah, Mom, that was disgusting. Mm -hmm. Mommy would not have allowed that. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, we're finished up. Anything else you want to say, Molly? You want to you want to sign us off or uh, anything? What did you think of the trip? It was fun. Yeah. And hot. It was. And sweaty. It's it's hard and work. Everything. It's hard work, but it has a purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're working towards something big here. It's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be great and fun and amazing and all those things. Mm -hmm. But it is gonna be nice to go home and see mommy and Skipper. Yeah, I do miss mommy and and I really miss Skipper. <laughs> I actually do. I miss the little fellow when I we're gone. Too. <sighs> That's our uh, pet gerbil, by the way, Skipper. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, well, great trip. We'll be back here again soon and uh, keep cranking out the projects. Oh, are you going to come back with me sometime, Molly? This was kind of a test run. This was the first time Molly's ever been with me. Um, I hope I didn't hope I didn't wear her out too much or <laughs> cause I'm her to not... I'm probably going to sleep in tomorrow. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I really, really liked having you here, Molly. <laughs> Seriously, I hope you come back with me and help out some more. I might. I enjoy your company. Yeah. And you're actually a big help, too. Yeah. Even though I can't sweep good. Yeah, she, she, she needs to work using the broom and the dustpan <laughs> together. She needs to work on her righty tighty lefty Lucy, <laughs> and learn how to, um, you know, use a dustpan and a, and a broom at the same time. Th th those two together are just eluding her for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I can't sweep. But you're doing great, Molly. You just need more practice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, right? Yep. Okay. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>